live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the Miami Marlins, the St. Louis Cardinals. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Paul Goldschmidt leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good, that's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. It's almost ready to get underway and towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie. Adam Wainwright, but Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city, and you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. That one fouled off. The 0-1. That one to first. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, and that's a leadoff double. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line. And once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. At the belt and fires. I got one ball, one strike. And a count one and two. Chisholm at second with nobody out. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Batting third. The designated hitter. Jesus Aguilar. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. And that one fouled off. And the 0 1. Runner takes off. That's in for a strike. Throw to third. He's safe. When a guy's got that kind of lead at second base, somebody's got to call a timeout. Pitcher's got to step off. The catcher's got to ask the ump for time or something. You can't let him get out that far when you don't have a good thrower behind the plate. He's going to steal third almost standing up. That's a really good job of being aggressive by the base runner. pitch. 0-2 oh, count. Two. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Bounce to the right. Over to Goldie. But it's one nothing as the run scores. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. His righty lefty splits there. Woo! 
and fouled off. Two outs. And ball one. Ball to strike. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. The pitch stays alive. And a pitch. In the dirt, and the count's even at two. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Bader glides to his left. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Marlins one and the Cardinals nothing. It ain't no surprise. The moves, it's in the sky. You better watch your... Bottom of the first. And on the hill here today, Jesus Lazardo. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Bottom of the first, now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. Meeting up for St. Louis, the second baseman, Tommy Edmond. And a pitch. Ball one, one, no strikes. Counts one and oh. And now the lefty. And now it's even up. The wide to kick the pitch. Missed inside with the curve. Next pitch misses inside. Three balls and a strike. New arm out of the bullpen, Zach Pop, trying to protect this lead. Number 56, Zach Pop. This one in the air, center field. Sanchez pulls that one down, one away. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Corey Dickerson in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next ball one misses. Up, yeah, that's ball two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 2-0. And yeah, there's a ball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. 
Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is down low. And a count even one and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Dickerson, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And now the count is even. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right handed reliever. Stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Next one is off the play, and it's three and two. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Over to Chisholm, there's one. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. It's on to inning number two in St. Louis. It's the Marlins one and the Cardinals nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's a speed threat of Asael Garcia. The right fielder, of Asael. Garcia. Wainwright back to work in the air right field Dickerson moving under it and there's one down that exists the third baseman Brian Anderson. Brian Anderson the next up for the Marlins Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. And the righty deals. Arenado picks it up. Tosses across the first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Nice job of deception right there by the pitcher. Got the hitter out there a little bit. Couldn't check his swing and induces a nice little ground out. Here's Joey Wendell. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 oh, 1's the count. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Real ugly 0 1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. 
on the ground. Nice grab. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. Miami down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium, here's Tyler O'Neill. The pitch. Good eye right there. And the 1 0. Foul ball. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. That misses, and it's a full count. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And quickly one away in the second. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. And now, Paul Goldschmidt. He's on the verge of a milestone. His next home run will be the 300th of his career. In there for strike one. Kicks and deals. Ball and that's down it away. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Righty delivers. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Yeah, Fillmore. Kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. And now it's Albert Pujols' turn to hit. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. And here it comes. Ball. That misses, and now 2-0. Oh. And he deals. Bounce to the left side. A dive. Nice stop to first. And they get the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Jesus Sanchez. Leading off for Miami, the center fielder, number seven, Jesus Sanchez. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The 
the wind of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand hitter waits. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and he reaches safely. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Jacob Stallings now. Wainwright over to first, oh, and he just got his hand in there. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. At the belt and fires. Outside, that's a ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Ball the next three. pitch misses. And now three and one. And there's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Jazz Chisholm now. This guy has turned into a beast. In there, and it's 0 and 1. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. Here comes a pitch. In the dirt. Nothing happening as the count evens at one. And a pitch. That's down and in. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and fires. Check swing. No appeal. And now three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here's a big power threat. Jorge Soler. There you see his May and June numbers so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over-anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. That one misses. And one and one. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. To second, there's one, and a run scores on the double play.
A move being made at third, and here's the pinch runner, Nick Fortes. So up next, Jesus Aguilar. Good power, not great in the OBP department. That one's in there, 0 1. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Here's your one. Yeah, that's one outside. Ball, two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Gathers and throws in time. Got him. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Nick Fortes, the new catcher now. Now catching. Number 15, James Hoyt now takes over on the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. 15, James Hoyt. Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Yadier Molina. And the pitch. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Grabs it barehanded to first, but it pulls him off the bag. And now Bader up to the plate. Roll to short, could be two. Wendell to second, on to first, out, double play. Just got it there in time. Very smooth on the feed to second right there. You gotta love that glove toss, Boog. You know, sometimes people think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you gotta remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1 0. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Soler sizes this one up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Leading off for Miami, the first baseman, Garrett the pitch line drive can't get there should be extra bases and that rolls into the corner into second easily with a lead off double and that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits Chris he's hitting 10 straight yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Stepping in, Abasail Garcia. 0 for 1, he flat out to right this first trip. And the nope. first pitch misses for ball one. Cooper leads off second with nobody out. Oh 
Next offering in the dirt. Two and oh. The pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. Ryan Anderson, the next up for the Marlins. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver. That's a base hit as a run scores. Picks himself up in RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Joey Wendell getting ready to hit. In there for strike one. Right hander kicks deals. Strike two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. And that chance handled. Over to DeYoung. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3 nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Tommy Edmond. The second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Hoy, back to work. That clips a corner. And the pitch. Trying to bunt his way on. And he grabs it. Foul. Next one just misses. Ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence. And it's a multi-run home run. Here's Corey Dickerson. And that's in there for strike one. Left hand batter waits. That's to third. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Nolan Arenado. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. The Cardinals hitless so far in the game. Out in front and foul to the left side.
Next offering misses. Two and one. The pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Bounced out to short. Wendell handles the chance. Sends it across to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Redbirds down quietly. Still down 3-0. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. The center fielder, number seven, Jesus Sanchez. The why to kick the pitch. Check swing. He went. That's strike one. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The pitch. Got him. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. And at the plate for Miami, Nick Fortes. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. And the righty deals. And takes low for ball one. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That one drilled left field. And out of here. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's the second baseman, Chaz Chisholm. The batter number two, second baseman. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh Tapped out in front of the plate. That's out number two. Now batting the left fielder, Jorge Soler. Two outs, bases empty. Jorge Soler, the next up for the Marlins. Slapped foul. Next pitch is outside. One and one. They say it went. Two down, nobody on. That one oh, off man. the mark. Three and two now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked.
swing and he breaks his back and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Payoff pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Jake Woodford comes on now. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Runner at first with two away. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. In the air, left field. O'Neill makes the catch, and that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Richard Blyer, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Tyler O'Neill. And here it comes. That's through there for a strike. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Anthony Bender up and throwing. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. And at first, now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Right now, sixth in the National League in home runs. And in the back of his mind, he's got to be thinking about home run number 300. He's sitting on 299 right now. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And next is the designated hitter, Albert Pujols. First time up, he grounded to third. Flyer checks the runner, and he dives back in safely. First pitch just misses. O'Neill stands at first with one out. Pickoff throw. O'Neill gets back easily. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. And that one missing low. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. 2 0. -oh. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The cards yet to pick up a hit here.
and it's ball four. He missed down low. Now Molina at the plate. Reached out an error his first time up. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. And the 1 0. Foul ball there. Swing and a ball popped up. And that one gets down. Fair ball. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. That one probably had no business ending up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield. And that pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Bader batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Fouled off. He was late. Going two now. And now one and two. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And up next for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Tying run at the plate. Stays alive. The 0 2. He swings and fouls one off. And a big swing and a miss. That throw is wide. He has to lunge off the bag to get it. No outs on the play. Base is now loaded. So the lineup flips over. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the catch inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Gotta make this life go paradise. So it go paranormal like paradise. But my motor right. And my motor right. So I roll a dice. So I see the day. I'm blowing up. I'm blowing up. I'm blowing up. 
Welcome back. And now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Henesis Cabrera, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Reyes, a right-hander, loosening up as well. The 0-1. And that's in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. Abasail Garcia. In there for strike one. And a pitch. And it's one and one. And the right hander deals. And Garcia gets a piece. The one two turned on but foul wide of third the other way Edmund the throw to first two quick outs to open the top of the sixth up next for the Marlins the third baseman Ryan Anderson. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Miami, Brian Anderson. And he's already singled in this game. First oh, offering man. misses the mark. Right handed reliever. That one missed. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And that's the inning. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Marlins four and the Cardinals one. Back here at Bush Stadium. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Dickerson now. The Redbirds in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Blyer, back to work. Called strike right there. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Ah. And down on strikes he goes. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now up for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1-0. No Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Hauls it in, two away. 
now back. No left field. Tyler. And next is the Cardinals four hitter, Tyler O'Neill. First offering misses badly for ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Anthony Bender appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. The lefty to 1 0. Fought off foul. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. And now the lefty fouls one off. Two and two. Smash to the left side. Fires over to first. And O'Neill is retired. And that'll do it. And down in order go the Cardinals. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. We go to the top of the seventh. And now the shortstop, Joey Wendell. Leading off for the Marlins. The shortstop, Joey. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. Swings through that. I'll tell you this. That's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. And a one-two. A little bit low. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. The 2 2. And another ball. So now 3 and 2. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. One for two. In there, and it's 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Wendell aboard here at first with nobody out. Got him. And there's one down. Oh, so there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like... You're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And now for the Marlins, Nick Fortes. That one's in there, 0 1. Now moves to first. Wendell oh, dives there. back in. Another move to first. He's and he's back in that time as well. The pitch. Ball. That counts. One and one.
Good eye right there. Woodford with a move to first. Wendell dives back in safely. Out towards left center. Bader on his way over. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. Two down. Now that second base. Jazz. So digging in, Jazz Chisholm for the fourth time tonight. And that's in there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. And it's even up. Kicks and deals. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. It counts. Pitch misses. And a count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Edmund racing over to make the catch. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Marlins four, and the Cardinals one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Anthony Bender. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Anthony Bender. Back here in St. Louis, and here's the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. The first baseman, The wind and the pitch. And ball one. Count 1-0. The wind of the pitch. Two balls, no strike. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Righty delivers. Ready. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Not even close there. Now three and one. The pitch. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And there's one away. Now batting. The designated. I finally made up my mind to take a better stand. Concentrating my balance. Here's Albert Pujols. I'm too involved in God, not television. According to his purpose, not somebody else's mission. I run away. I cannot run away. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Here's the 0-2. And it's fouled away. And the next pitch is way outside. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one hit to first. Takes it himself. Two up, two down. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. And that one fouled off.
This one in the air right field. Garcia on the run towards the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. And they trail it 4-1. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. And at the plate for Miami, Jorge Soler. Jorge Soler. And a pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Kicks and fires. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Henesis Cabrera appears to be getting loose. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So a man aboard. Jesus Aguilar digs in now. He's going. He's Runner going, on the goal. Going. Now this is in the air down the line. Dickerson on the move. And it's caught for the out. Up next for the Marlins, the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Garrett Cooper. In there for strike one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Squirts away a little bit. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Next pitch misses way outside. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. 2-1 pitch is in there and the count is even. And the 2-2. Stays alive. And a pitch. And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And now Avasail Garcia. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering in the dirt, and the count is one and one. And a swing and a miss. One ball. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Solaire at second with two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
Third out. Marlins lead one, but they lead it four to one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Floro. He's pitching on two days rest. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And here it comes. And a good eye there. The wind to kick the 2-0. That one catches the corner for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. The next offering misses. And it's three and two. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a three two. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Paul the uh, the next to hit. First offering and it just misses. Floro throws no, over right. back in there standing. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ripped on a line to center. Racing makes the catch. One down. The batter number 19, second baseman. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond. And first offering is fouled off. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The pitch. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Next pitch misses, two and one. And the right hater deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Throw to first, safe. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And at first, 
Corey Dickerson next up for the Cardinals. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Out to short. Wendell collects. They take the force out, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. The cards leave one, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Genesis Cabrera taking the mound. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Back here at the ballpark, now the third baseman, Brian Anderson. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Nick Wickren, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. At the belt and fires. Pitch is in there, and it's nothing in two. Line drive, base hit down the line. Really nice job, a two strike hitting in that at bat. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Now it's the shortstop, Joey Wendell. That to right. Dickerson under it and puts the squeeze on that one and there's one down Jesus Sanchez the next up for the Marlins Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. And he deals. And a foul ball. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And one fouled off. Anderson leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering upstairs. 
That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Oh, and now a wild pitch. All the way up to third here, and that is great hustle. And he grounds one to the right side. And that is that. Part of the order, 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Marlins four and the Cardinals one. There's a strange wind blowing. New pitcher for the Marlins, Trevor Rosenthal. He last pitched two days ago. Number 41, Trevor Rosenthal. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Here comes a pitch. Nope. Got the bat going too soon in strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And now it's even <laughs> up. And now the count filled up three and two. Kicks and deals. This one smoked out to left. Leaping, can't haul it in. The throw into second. And a big swing of the bat. It's a leadoff double in the bottom of the ninth. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Tyler O'Neill. Now back, left fielder, Tyler. First pitch, just misses. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Rosenthal, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff, that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this, that is a big time benefit. Man at second. Two balls, one strike. That one fouled off, two and two. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Next offering is outside. Oh, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. And a 3-2. And fouled off.
the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four well they didn't give him anything to hit and now with runners on first and second they've set up a double play opportunity so not a terrible result first and second no outs Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals and that's in there for strike one Next offering is in for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Soler puts it away, and there's one down. Two on, one out. And the batter now, Albert Pujols. And Boog, I'd say he's due. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. In there for strike one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Runners at first and second with one gone. Going to count one and two. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Out to short, dive, and he's got it. The throw over to Chisholm. There's one. Throw is high and over his head. Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. The catcher number four, Yadier. In the dirt. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. The tying run at the plate. And a count one and two. Just one strike away. And that's outside. pitch got him and that's the ball game well not all saves come easy but he didn't let things unravel good win for the boys today and your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show thanks for stopping by I'm John Chambi talk to you soon
Y no se deja, pero mide 5-1. Uh, uh. 